What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Varsity Overland channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the six gallon spare tank from a company called Trailed Online. The spare tank belongs in the same location as your spare tire. So if you have your spare tire mounted somewhere else, you should be able to put six gallons of whatever fluid you want where your old spare tire used to be. We're gonna test it out for gasoline. I'm gonna tell you whether or not this actually fits underneath the truck because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Hopefully, if all works out, I'll be able to get that old jerry can off of the tailgate of the truck so it stops rattling around. Um, but yeah, should be a quick install and a short video, so stick around. All right, so before we actually get into the installation, I figured I'd give you a full shot of the six gallon spare tank. This is from a company called Trailed Online. On their website, they have three options. You can buy one six gallon tank for $175. You could buy two for a combination of $300. You could also buy a pack of three not 100% sure what the three pack cost, okay? But obviously it gets just a little bit cheaper per tank um, every time you add one to your cart. So as you can tell, it's just about the same size as my stock 31s that come on the ZR2. Um, so, you know, theoretically this should be able to mount up underneath the bed of the truck. I have not had a chance to actually test it out and see whether or not the attachment point for the tire that pulls it up inside of the uh, spare tire area. I haven't had a chance to see if that actually fits in here. So who knows? This is either gonna be a product install video or a poor product review video. So stick around. I'm gonna get the, uh, the tire carrier open and while I'm doing that whole process, I'm gonna remove this jerry can finally, um, and probably the high lift jack too, just to get some weight off the tailgate, or uh, off the hitch, I should say. But yeah, I don't expect this to take very long, so I'm gonna go grab the um, spare tire tool and we'll get started. Okay, so. I haven't had to fish this thing out in a while, but I guess that's a good thing. So even with the uh, Wilco hitch gate, hopefully spare tire tool will be able to fit right over the top, get in there, crank it down, lower the cable, and we'll see if the uh, spare tank fits down there. Well, folks, at the moment, we're going to take a little break. It's been roughly half hour, maybe 40 minutes since I started to try and install this thing. Turns out that uh, my hoist for my tire carrier is smaller than the diameter of uh, the hole where the trailed online uh, fuel tank goes. So we got to figure something out. All right, people, so here's an update on the uh, Trailed Online auxiliary fuel tank. Um, 
it took me a little while last week to kind of work out how this might might be able to work. I spent a long time talking to, I believe, the owner of the company, Trailed Online. Um, very understanding, awesome guy. Uh, and we went back and forth for you know, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, uh, answering me right away. I thought it, I thought it was going to be an issue. You know, sometimes you reach out to these companies and they just don't respond. But, um, trailed online got back to me like in an instant. Um, turns out that, you know, the Chevy Colorado is not the only truck that has this particular dilemma. Um, I guess Jeeps, um, I think specifically said gladiators maybe have this issue too, where the the hoist that carries the spare tire is smaller. Uh, diameter is smaller than the interior diameter of the can, the fuel can. Um, so here's what we came up with. We went back and forth. We came up with, you know, we're kind of like spitballing ideas. Here's what we came up with. Um, I hopped on Amazon and I ordered a couple sized machine washers, like gigantor, you know, huge machine washers. Um, I got interior di diameter of two and a half inches out outside diameter of five inches. And then this one, it doesn't say it, um, but it's slightly bigger. This one has an interior of three inches and then the outer diameter of five and a half. Um, so, you know, I'm going to get these things taken, taken out, but the idea, the idea here is that, um, I might be able to use now obviously it, yes there is some space I for the life of me couldn't find um, the true diameter like a, a washer that fit the true diameter of what I needed here if I can get this to work because I believe it was more like six let's see here yeah we're almost looking at seven here so my current plan uh, is to, I have some, I also ordered some uh, liquid weld. So I'm going to take these two, put them together, weld them in place, uh, and then I'm going to use them both as the receiver point underneath for the hoist to attach to. Um, so I'm going to put these things together right now and see how it works out. I want to try it. Uh, so, you know, maybe if I can throw something at the end of the video, or maybe I'll throw something into the, uh, the comments section below and let everybody know how it worked out, but I'm not going to fill the can or anything like that first. I'm just going to, I'm just going to store it up underneath, underneath the truck, um, drive around with it like that for a bit, see if there's any rattling or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the solution that we came up with. You know, I was talking to trailed online. We went back and forth a little bit, um, they made some suggestions, hopped on Amazon, tried to find these gigantic washers, and um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Okay. So here's what we're looking at. Not too bad. It is really held in there nice and tight the two washers to combined I think um, are really sturdy I mean not that I expected to but I can't I can't make these things budget all 
So the whole canister is nice and flush up against the underside of the truck. I was able to twist it just a little bit so I could get the spout on one side and this flat section on the other. But yeah, I think it's held on there pretty tight. Maybe I'll just give it like a tiny, tiny little crank. One, one more, hold it into place. But uh, yeah, I think it's working out all right. All right, folks, well, I think that's gonna just about wrap things up. Um, I'm hoping you guys can hear me because my neighbor is splitting wood in the background. There's a machine running, so. Uh, but yeah, so Trailed Online seems to be a pretty pretty good company, pretty reasonable um, company. And the installation, aside from having to find those extra parts, the installation was really easy. Even once I found them, you know, it was just kind of a matter of getting the tank on um, and then getting the washers around the, the hoist, pulling everything up together. Balanced all, uh, everything balanced nice. I didn't have to like lift it up with one hand, hold it in place while I was cranking. I was just able to leave it, leave it rusting while I, while I cranked it up. Um, so, I mean, I hope, I hope it all works out. Um, if you guys have any, any thoughts or, or possible concerns about my setup, definitely let me know. Um, you know, my mindset right now is that I'm kind of acting as the guinea pig for maybe anybody else that has this issue. Um, luckily, while I was talking to Trailed Online, and my hand's shivering a little bit, so I hope the screen doesn't shake too much. Uh, while I was talking to Trailed Online, uh, they did ask for all the specs on my my spare tire position and um, the diameter of the, the hoist. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So he wanted to know if um, it was different than what, you know, what he had planned. Cause I think he advertises it with forerunners on the website, um, the tank uh, with forerunners, but you know, goes on to say that it should fit any spare tire um, area. So now we know that's not entirely true, but they're always willing to work with you uh, to figure it out and hopefully after taking down my my specs there might be plans in the future you know for varying sizes or varying you know interior interior diameters of those spare tanks um so yeah i'm definitely i'm going to try to use it as sort of like an auxiliary gas situation uh so i can finally get this stupid jerry can off the back of the truck um also just while i was kind of like sifting around on their website, I found a really cool article that they have, and I'll link it down below, to um, to a guy that had kind of rigged up his trailed online canisters under his car to make like a auxiliary water solution. He's got like, you know, a big uh, hose with a pump coming out from underneath the bot. It's really cool. It's really cool. So I'll link that down below uh, if you want to take a look at that. But yeah, short and sweet video minor speed bump. I think we made through it pretty well. Um, and that's all I got. So I'll catch you guys next time.